While they were in hiding, Margot took a correspondence course in elementary Latin with the Loy, publisher of correspondence courses, under the name of Bifos Cal. Anna looked up to her, but that was a little bit of a problem, of course, between the two girls. The always good learning Margot and this lively child, Anne, who had other ideas too, who loved to flirt with boys in school already. The girls were different. Margot was leaning to Edith and Anne was Otto's child. They loved each other, of course, but they were different. Er veranderen tijden, er veranderen mensen. Er verandert de gedachte over goed en kwaad, recht en onrecht. Maar onveranderlijk blijft steeds de genegenheid van je vrienden voor jou. Ze willen steeds het beste. Ik vond maar gewoon een aardige meid om te zien. Mooi vond ik er ook, innemend. Ik voelde me dus tot haar aangetrokken. Vooral toen we samen les kregen en je dus iemand beter leert kennen. She's one of the most influential, widely read writers of the 20th century. And she never lived to see her book in print, or even to see her 16th birthday. We're talking about Anne Frank a symbol of resilience and lost innocence in the face of the Holocaust. Anne Frank was born in 1929 in Frankfurt, Germany, the youngest daughter of a Jewish family. Hitler and his anti-Semitic Nazi party rose to power in 1933. And so the Frank family moved to the more tolerant city of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. In June of 1940, the Netherlands was invaded by Germany and conditions for people there, especially Jews, began to deteriorate. The Franks tried to leave for the US, but were blocked from doing so by restrictive immigration policies. Later, on her 13th birthday, Anne received a simple present that would have enormous historical repercussions. It was a blank diary. In it, Anne chronicled her thoughts and feelings, writing about her family and friends and boys, all the kind of things you might expect from a young teenage girl. 